Hey guys, so today we're making some jerk chicken in the air fryer. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm going to start by making the seasoning for our jerk chicken and I'm going to make a whole chicken. So I have some light brown sugar, some garlic powder. Um, if you have some onion powder, you can add that as well. I'm going to add some meat seasoning. And so this just has um, a combination of different Caribbean spices and I uh, put that up there on the screen so you can see that. I'm also going to add in some adobo or you can use any all-purpose seasoning that you have. Some smoked paprika. Um, and I did make this seasoning blend on another video. It was my other jerk chicken uh, video. But anyway, I'm going to add in some ground cinnamon. And basically, you want to make sure that you season your food, guys. Okay? And so lastly, I'm just going to add in... Um, some chicken bouillon paste not paste uh, some powder and then I'm gonna mix that all together and this is going to be the seasoning for the jerk chicken and so um, next I'm gonna uh, chop up some of our uh, aromatics <laughs> and so I have one yellow onion I have some green onions some fresh ginger um, some thyme leaves I didn't have any fresh garlic cloves um, so I didn't add that, but if you have that, please make sure you chop up some fresh garlic. And so I'm just going to place all of this into this bowl because I'm going to add my chicken to the bowl. And so for fresh ginger, um, you want to make sure that I, I just use the uh, back of my knife to knife. Goodness, I can't talk today. I use the back of my knife to scrape off the um, skin and then I'm just going to dice that up and um, mix all of this together. And for these thyme leaves, I'm just going to put it all in there with the stem. And then I did take some of the leaves themselves off of the thyme if you wanted to do it that way. And then I'm just chopping up some green onion to have for some garnish at the end. And so I'm going to serve this chicken with some, um, some rice and peas that I had in the freezer and uh, some cabbage and some plantains. And so here is my whole chicken. Um, and I'm just going to season the inside and the outside and I'm going to use the whole bowl of seasonings that I made because this is the whole chicken y'all and again I don't care what seasonings you use just make sure your food is not bland because we don't want no bland food y'all and so make sure you get up under their skin too because you want every piece of chicken the skin the flesh the meat whatever you want all of that to taste good okay and so i'm just gonna continue to add my seasoning and mix it and rub it all around um and in addition to this seasoning blend i'm also going to use um some jerk seasoning uh like the marinade and i'm just gonna put that on after i season my chicken And so here is the uh, jerk marinade or seasoning that I'm going to use. I am using the mild. I got this off of Amazon because I can never find this in my local grocery store. Um, but I'm just going to add a few uh, tablespoons of that and I'm going to rub it all over the chicken. Um, if you like it spicier, you can use the hot version of this. Um, but <laughs> my husband and uh, my kids don't like spicy food, so I didn't do that. And so I'm going to use a habanero pepper, and I'm just using one because, again, my family does not like spicy food. And so I just cut some slits in that, and I'm attempting to rub it all over the chicken. Um, but I, I probably could have just cut that up some more. But, again, I didn't want it to be spicy. Um, and then I'm just going to cover this up and let it marinate in my uh, refrigerator. I only did it for a couple of hours, but uh, overnight is best. And so because I am using the rotisserie feature on my air fryer today, um, I'm going to tie up the legs and the wings. And I did cut uh, the tip of the wings off um, just because it, it didn't, uh, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> so I cut that part off, but I'm just going to tie this up and I am not a professional. Um, but anyway, I am using uh, the air fryer that I have is the Gourmia. Um, and it, it's a little different from the air fryer that I used to have. So I'm just um attaching all of these things to it and then i'm going to place this in the air fryer um and this is pretty simple it cooked for like an hour and 20 minutes in the air fryer and it was so good y'all i promise you this is going to be so good um just make sure your chicken isn't too big if you are putting it in your air fryer 
Um, and so this is me tying up the wings. This is uh, the air fryer and excuse my hair. I'm sorry y'all had to see that. <laughs> but I put it in there and then I'm gonna uh, reduce the heat to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the time is gonna be one hour and 20 minutes. You just wanna make sure that your te uh, the temperature, the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is what it looks like after the hour and 20 minutes and make sure that this thing is cooled off uh, before you remove it because you do not want to burn your hands and so I am going to let my chicken rest so I'm going to put some foil on it um, for about 20 minutes or so and then after my chicken has rested for um, that time I'm just going to remove the uh, kitchen twine from my uh, chicken and then I am going to attempt to cut it up I am not a professional um, so you know you're going to see me slightly butcher this chicken but that's okay it tasted good <laughs> so i prefer the dark meat um, but this is what it looks like you guys this is the finished product so flavorful so juicy serve it with your favorite side dishes i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe please make sure you like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye